the present problem considered here is uh, the problem of gate uh, 2003 and uh, this problem is based on uh, operational amplifier comparators. So we'll read out the problem and then uh, see the solution to this problem. If the input to the ideal uh, comparator shown in figure is a sinusoidal signal of 8 volts peak to peak without any DC component then the output of the comparator has a duty cycle of half, one third, one sixth, bar one twelfth. So we have to see which is the correct option here. So what we observe in this uh, problem is there is a uh, comparator circuit diagram is shown here where input is applied to the inverting terminal reference is uh, put at uh, non-inverting terminal that reference is up 2 volts V0 is the corresponding output and this comparator the input is applied a sinusoidal input is applied and that uh, sinusoidal input has a uh, um, peak of uh, 8 volt peak to peak value so this is 8 volt peak to peak value being drawn here the 4, wheel, four volt uh, peak on one side 4 minus 4 on the other side voltage so this is the sinusoidal signal which is applied to this uh, uh, comparator circuit now uh, this signal we can uh, write here vi equal to 4 sin omega t because this 4 is uh, representing here the peak value of the signal and uh, it is being said that there is no DC signal along with the sine wave that means uh, uh, this sine wave is uh, symmetrically placed around 0 volt line here and uh, as uh, we have already seen the reference voltage is 2 volts okay uh, uh, during the positive cycle of this sine wave uh, when the input uh, is 3 volts and more uh, what we observe here when the input is here 2 volts and more because of this comparator the reference voltage the output goes to negative saturation and uh, this uh, is the corresponding output here now the output is going from this point to negative saturation and it remains there as long as the sine wave input is more than 2 volts again when uh, the sine wave input falls uh, to 2 volts and below that the transition occurs again and the output goes back to its uh, previous state now uh, we have to determine this point this point is also this uh, uh, we can determine the on time of the output uh, pulse this on time could be determined by determined by determining this time here now what we observe here is uh, this is 2 volts at 2 volts this point is you can determine this uh, how far is this point from the 0 volt uh, uh, time axis here so this is 2 equals to 4 sin omega t sin omega t you could find that gives omega t is equal to pi by 6 or 30 degrees so this point is at pi by 6 so this point is at uh, pi by 6 now uh, you can uh, further determine the this point this again uh, uh, pi uh, so it will be less by pi by 6 so you can determine this point uh, the other point is pi minus pi by 6 so that is 5 pi by 6 so this point is 5 pi by 6 5 pi by 6 and this point is pi by 6 so you can determine the on time of the pulse that is uh, 5 pi by 6 minus pi by 6 uh, so uh, you get a 4 pi by 6 is the on time of the pulse that means this output remains on for a period of uh, uh, 4 pi by 6 so 4 by 6 divided the total period is uh, t so that is uh, 2 pi so this means 2 by 6 and equals to 1 by 3 uh, one thing more what we observe here is for the negative uh, cycle of the sine wave uh, this output will not change it will remain the same state since it does not cost the uh, plus 2 volts reference uh, which is being put in here okay so for this problem the option is uh, 
B, option B, that is one-third D to circle of one-third is the right option here. Thank you.